everybody. Hope you're having a great day. We're gonna do a leg and arm workout today. Uh, you don't need any weights, but if you do have weights, wonderful. You can kind of substitute, you know, two cans or two bottles instead. So we'll be doing some biceps and triceps and shoulders, and we're gonna be doing some legs. So get ready, it's a good workout. Make sure you are gonna check with your doctor to make sure you're A-OK -okay to do this. And I'll give you some variations if you've got bad knees or bad hips, please be careful, maybe don't go as low, etc. So we're gonna start with just a little warm up. I just want you to just move your body a little bit. I've got some background music just to help me keep my rhythm and count. You can put on your own music and listen to it. I just got done cleaning the house and I put on some fun music and uh, happened to like to dance. So I was dancing, cleaning and having some fun. We got 12 inches of snow last night. It's beautiful, but, uh, and <laughs> how to clean it up. And so got a little bit of a warm up myself. Roll those shoulders back, nice full range. Release and switch. And all I want you to do is alternating knees and tap with the opposite arm. This is actually an energy exercise, balancing your energy. And we'll be doing a different video on that coming up soon. And release. Just take a shake. The workout itself is gonna warm you up. You be careful. I'll cue you on good form. So here we go. I'm gonna use some light weights. And again, you can use weights or not. If you're not using weights, try to isometrically contract your muscles. When we do a squat, which is what's coming up, I want you to make sure that you push your hips way back and keep a nice straight back so you don't want your knees to come forward. Squats are not about your knees, they're about getting your hips back. So here we go. We're gonna start off nice and slow. Weight in your heels, you're gonna go down, down, up, up, curl. Press overhead and back down. Down, down, up, up. Press overhead and back down. Make sure you don't hold your breath. And lift and lower. If you have bad shoulders, you don't have to do the overhead press. Just do the bicep curl. Hips way back, down, down, up, up. Overhead press, down, down, up, up, overhead press. Let's do four more. Down and up, lift and down. That's one. Don't let me lose count. You know trainers are famous for that. You know four more, is sometimes eight more, sometimes 16 more, down, down, I believe we have two more. Up, up, down, down, last one. Up, up, down, and release. So, while we're on the bicep kick and working our legs, we're gonna do sumo squats with bicep curls. So you're gonna go down, curl. Now I want you to see where my elbows are they're in front of me. So I don't want you pulling back. Keep them forward, it isolates the biceps more. My knees are aligned with my toes, and I'm kind of pushing my knees towards my back wall. Up, up. Core is engaged. I'm exhaling as I come up, where I'm working the hardest here with my biceps. And up, up. So the first exercise, my hands were in a hammer curl position. Now we're doing palms up. So we're hitting the bicep in two different ways. Down, down, up, up, and down, down, up, up. Two more, down, up. You decide how low you go. Now hands go on your hip. We're gonna do some pulsing. Go pulse, 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 pulse. My weight's in my heels, not leaning forward. Try to keep up nice and straight and just pulse through. If you get tired, come up. Lift your left heel, continue to pulse. Pulse, 
pulse. Notice I'm not bending over. Switch. Yes, my legs are feeling this too. I'm trying to smile through it. Now lift both heels. Eight. Seven. Stick it out if you can. And four more. Four. Three. Two, it's a little balancing. Right into triceps. We're gonna do tricep extensions, back in. Tricep extension, back in. Notice I'm not doing a bicep curl with this because that releases the tricep. So I don't wanna come way up here, keep it behind you. And now let's say you have bad knees. How about just doing the arm part of this? We're not going as low. So there's lots of variations. Let's do four more of these. Four. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale, try to keep your neck aligned. I'm just looking at the camera, but you keep your necks nice and straight. One more like this. Now, palms up, we go behind us, pulse. Pulse. And my triceps are starting to talk to me. How about you? Keep pulsing, keep pulsing. Eight more counts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Good job. I'm gonna put these down and I'm gonna take a water break. How about you? Go take a water break. I'm gonna grab it real quick. Drink, drink, drink. All right, I'm coming back. So I took a sip of water, but to be honest with you, I was checking to make sure the camera was working because I didn't want to do the whole rest of the workout without that. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to take those three exercises and we're going to do them again. We might change the pace of some of them, but I want to, for variation, but we're going to do it all again. So we start slow. We go down, down, up, curl, Overhead press and back. Down, up, up, down. If you get tired, you can always do one arm and you can alternate them. Up, up. Now we're going to speed up. Up, down, down, up. Don't look down at your feet like this. Stay looking up. Keeps the arch in your back with better form. I think we can do eight more. Don't forget, exhale as you come up. Six more. Hang in there with me. Four more. Get those arms nice and straight on top. Two more. Last one, right into those squats. Down, up, down. My weight is in my heels. Stay upright. Here's gonna be our variation. We're gonna do four more like this. And while we pulse, we're gonna do alternating bicep curls. Let's do two more. Down, up, one more. Down, now stay down, pulse, pulse. Now if you have really heavy weights, you wouldn't want to do the curls this fast, but if they're nice and light, it feels right. Hey, that rhymes. Keep pulsing, eight, seven, six, five. Stay low on your stance if you can. Pulse again, eight, seven, six. Stay with it. Get ready to lift that left heel for eight. Oh yeah, it's talking to me. Switch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now both heels up. Last set. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Get ready for triceps. Here they come. Out and back. Out. And back. Don't bring them too far forward. Warning, right? And lift. And lift. And lower. Squeeze the tricep. Put 
the mind to the muscle so you squeeze it more. One more slow. Here's our variation. Double time. Up and in. Up. Up. Squeeze tight. Four more. Three. Check your posture. Elongate that neck. Pulse. Palms up for eight. Triceps are burning. Four more. Three, two, and release it. Beautiful. Now, we're going to do three more exercises and multiply it the same way we just did. I'm going to be doing step back lunges. I have a little shoulder injury, so I'm actually not going to use weights for this one because this angle isn't great for me right now while it's healing. So, I want you to see what I'm going to do. When I lunge back, I want you to make sure that your back knee is right underneath your torso, right underneath your hip. My toes are curled back and my heels off the ground the whole time. My other foot, my knee is directly over my heel and I keep the weight in that heel. So you want this to go forward. You don't want it to be too far back. You're gonna go up and down like an elevator. All right, so put one leg forward. Don't get too skinny, you lose your balance. Let's practice just the legs first, my heels up. So you're gonna go straight down like an elevator, right back up, straight down. Now if you have some dumbbells or even a can, I want you to put it in those hands and lift it straight up. Down, up, down, up. Two more like this. One more. Now, you're gonna go down and hold three counts. One, two, three and up. One, two, three and up. One, two, three. Four more of these. If you need to take a rest, take it. You'll build up. Sometimes it's here, but sometimes it's here. Two more. Last one. And we're gonna go right into switching legs. Put your other leg forward. Check your alignment. Remember, straight down like an elevator. Ready and down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Down, down. I'm really breathing. That oxygen helps you work. Down, down. Hold it for three. Go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. We're going to do four more of these. Did I already say that? <laughs> four, three, two more. One, two, three. Last one. Next tricep exercise. If your weights are light, grab two. If your weight is a little heavier, grab one. We're gonna bring this overhead back to our sumo stance and down, lift and squeeze your triceps. And down, down, up, up, down, and up. Really squeeze through them. A disclaimer, don't hit yourself in the head. Not that I've ever done anything like that. Well, maybe a few times, especially in karate. Down, and up, down, up, down, up. Let's do one more. The last of these three exercises, are going to include a little balance. You can do this weighted or not. Extend one leg out. No weights on that back leg. So it's a little single leg deadlift. Just go down a little. Down and up. I'm squeezing my bum, both of them. Down, up. And if you need to touch in order to rebalance, great. 
So I don't know about you, but I definitely have one leg that's very easy to balance on. I always pick that one first, right? And my other one, I broke my ankle when I was a kid. My foot's about an inch smaller at least, and the ankle's weak. So it's a little more challenging. Four more. Good posture, long neck, long spine. Just two more. Last one. And release. Let's do the other side. This is my really challenging side. Ready? Here we go. Down and up. I told you. Down and up. Down. Up. So on this side, I have to like on purpose squeeze different muscles that just come naturally on the other side. So I'm really focused. I look at something just in front of me to help with my balance. Four more. I'm breathing. Trying to relax the rest of my body. One more. Oh, I did it. Yay. So we're going to do those three exercises one more time, and we are there. We're going to play with different, different rhythms on our reverse lunges. Actually, not reverse lunges, they're stationary split squats. So we're going to go down, down, up, up. If you have one weight, it'll be here. If you have two, why don't we do side raises? Again. Up, up, down, down. So you're either here <laughs> or here. Now, this time, we're going to hold for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and up. We're going to do that three more times. Three, four, five, six, seven. Two more. Two. Now the piezo resistance of this, and say that right, and seven, six. We're going to finish off with eight singles. Looks like this. Down. I know it burns. Do what you can. That's how we get stronger. Four more. Last one. Can't wait to switch. Switch it. Align, great form. Ready and down, down, up, up, down, down. I think I'm gonna alternate. Down and up. You pick one or you can alternate. And down, down, up, up. Let's do four more of these. Down, one, And this is three. Last one of these. Here come those sevens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up. So, part of the reason I'm doing this workout again is because I filmed a similar one and something happened to the audio. So some of you may have received that one. My apologies. So we're refilming this and lots more to come. 
on your trainer vest, be lot on YouTube. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Good. So this time, when I do my balance work, I'm gonna challenge myself. No weight, but I'm gonna go a lot deeper. You go as deep as you can. If you have a chair or something in front of you, that might be a good idea just for being safe. So we go down, down, up, up, down, Do what you can, only four more. One, two, three, last one. Uh-oh, here comes my band side. <laughs> Don't laugh if I fall, I'm gonna really try. And get set up, here we go. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Core really engaged, only four more. Two more. Last one. Oh, we made it, great job. We're gonna take a momentary stretch and then I'll see you on the other side. Let's hold this. So as we stretch, I want you to relax your body, lift up through the ribs. I just made a stretch video, just like a little 10 minute stretch. So you can always do that after your workouts too. I want you to do a couple of trunk rolls. Bring one arm across and grab the other and just pull that in. Release and switch. If you have certain workouts that you really like, send them to me. Text me or send them through YouTube or my email, lifebreathbeth at Hotmail, and we'll make them happen. Arm out, I turn my thumb down, to stretch that wrist, wrist and into my arm here. Release and switch. And I want you to do a forward fold and just stretch those hamstrings. Take a couple deep breaths here. Roll yourself up. Before I forget, I hope you subscribe to our channel, but even more importantly, I want to do a shout out to all the people who are on the front lines of this craziness that we're going through. You know, some of us are fortunate, we can stay home, but there's lots of people working their butts off to make this thing go away. So thank you, and uh, we have so much appreciation for what you do. Have a wonderful day, keep your spirits up, namaste. Thank you guys.